In this Pixel Lab editing video, you will learn how to create image and text editing that you can even print and sell as wallpaper. Now let's start the wallpaper editing on our Pixel Lab now. So you create your text. Increase the size. Select font under my under font normal default fonts. I'm using spin cycle, so you locate spin cycle. Here is spin cycle. Select font, and then go to line spacing. Reduce the line spacing between the text, and then go to size. Increase the text size to the size you want. I'm using 95 then we have to select the texture for our test so go to texture click on the image icon and then your image that you've downloaded on your gallery you pick it so I want the test color to be black that's why this one is giving a black background so you select that so the image is not well placed you go to texture again and then you scale it to about 160 percent activate it like that then we bring in the normal image click on this hexagonal shape click on import and then this one will be in png format can you see this one doesn't have background but the other one i gave it a black background because i want the test to appear as black so we need to crop this to the part that we need, like the half of that lion's head. Once you get it in, you place it well, and then adjust your size to the part, to the best size you have. Go to size, and then use position to to adjust where you want it to be if you check the test uh, image you see that the nose is not well placed so you reduce this one too and then adjust until you have the best size So here is our design now. Then you can now save as a PNG image. Then you create a background for it or you select background color immediately before you save. So you can have any color you want depending on what you want. So you can save directly to your gallery and then you give it another touch when you are creating the background. So adjust the image and save. You click here. If you are saving as PNG, you click here. You select transparent first before you click save as image so once you click save as image ensure you save in the highest possible dimension and that is ultra ultra click on this and change from default to ultra then you click save to gallery